The traitor's creator reveals why nobody wanted series when he first pitched idea. The traitors became a runway hit when it hit screens, becoming BBC iPlayer's second most streamed show over Christmas. But it almost wasn't a hit at all, with the show's creator admitting to having trouble getting the concept off the ground. Mark Pose created the original Dutch format, and spent six years pitching it only to be rejected. Related, the Traitors star Maddie Smedley reveals whether she'd return to East End as nobody wanted to have it over here. Now it's like this romantic success story, and yet no one wanted it back then. He told Variety but I continued doing tests, pilots, and kept believing in it. And when we finally created this series in the Netherlands, it became a hit following the Dutch premiere. The show was sold to 20 countries by the end of the year. An American version, hosted by Alan Cumming, is landing on screens very soon. Related, Netflix is the circle will fill that traitor's shaped hole in your life pose explained why he felt like companies were hesitant about the format. Well, normally, when you create this kind of program, like the mole, it's a sort of guessing game for viewers who have to find out who the mole is. But in the case of the traitors, viewers know right away who the traitors are. Related, the traitor's winner Meryl Williams opens up about daily abuse she receives on social media people at TV channels kept telling me that if I know who they are. There's no point. But as it turns out, if you produce a show in a good manner, then it becomes a success everywhere he also shared his opinion of the UK version. Which differed from the Dutch version by using civilians rather than celebrities. We were really, really, really blown away, he said the cast is so fantastic in the UK. It's great to see these regular people who aren't really used to this kind of psychological adventure. So to speak the Traitors is available to catch up on via BBC iPlayer.